So this is the second page then um, of the modelling for the first lesson. It's quite a big one, so I suspect it'll take two bits to do. I'm stuck on five minute videos. Uh, you only have two videos and you won't feel that bad, but unfortunately you probably have four videos. Right, so it talks about interpreting. So interpret. So it says answer structure, the Y when X is zero. Right, so it talks about that there. So limitations. So we know from school that interpolation is estimating it within the data, so it's in the line that we've got, for it's the data that we've got. Whereas extrapolation is where it's outside the range of data. Now, I've actually mentioned this before, or you'll mention it when we do some more data stuff anyway. And extrapolation is dodgy, but so it says you should not extrapolate. However, that's where the big money is, uh, extrapolating from data. Uh, there you go. So it says the doctor thinks that the weight of a baby can be modelled as a linear function. So we've got a baby weighs 4.1 at two weeks and 4.8 at five weeks. Taking W as the weight, find the equation. Right, so what do we know then? So for part A, if I take, uh, I have the weight going up and the number of weeks going across. So I've got two coordinates there, so they're actually backwards, aren't they? Uh, 5 and 4.8. So my gradient will be 4.8 to take 4.1, the change in the weight, minus the change in the number of weeks. So that's going to be 7 over 30. 30. There we go. And it's the number of weeks. That's right, isn't it? Weight, sorry, isn't it? Kilos per week is, kgs per week. I'm being really technical. Right, so then we want where it crosses the x-axis. Um, does it give us some other information? No. So I'm going to use one of the points. So if I use, uh, what am I using? 2 comma 4.1, I'm going to have y minus 4.1. 7 over 30, x minus 2, uh, but it's not y and x, is it really? It's w and n, so really that should be w and n. So w and n, sorry. And then I want to do a little bit of expanding. So if I multiply through by the 30, actually no, I just don't expand the brackets. 7 over 30, n minus 7 over 15 plus 4.1. 4.1 is 41 over 10. Somehow join them together and the pen is sticking to the board, making a right mess of my writing. Uh, it gives me 109 over 30. There we go. But it wants them to free sig fig. So as a final bit, uh, 0.233n plus 3.63. So that's the equation. That's part A. And I'm at 3 minutes 30 already. So let's have a look at part B. Let's see if we can sneak it into the 5 minutes. I suspect we can. So interpretation of the values of A and B. So I've got the weight. So what we've got here. So the, the 109 over 30 uh, is going to be the weight at birth. And then I've got a thing. I'll tell you what I do. I'm going to pause it. Um, am I going to have time to do it? I'm just going to pause it and write down part B. Not sure if you can read that, to be fair, my writing's all over the show today. So the y-intercept is its weight of birth, so 3.63 kilos. And for every one week, the weight increases by 0.233 kilos. That's the effect of the gradient. Part C says the normal weight of a healthy one-year-old is between 10 and 12. Right, so I've got 40 seconds left. I'm just going to sub in. Uh, what are we on for a one-year-old? So 52. I'm going to sub in x is 52, or n is 52. See what I get out and see if it works or not. I'm just going to pause it while I do that. So you look, so the question said between 10 and 12, but we've got 15.7, so it doesn't work. So you're going to have to write down some form of comment for that. And there's 10 seconds left. I'll write it down, what I've got, and you can see it. There you go. Time's nearly up. Five more seconds left. So the model's not reliable for older babies as the weight of 15.7 is well outside it.